Welcome to Barnyard Review. Uh, we found a terrible game. Uh, Reggie's trying to escape from it. Let me out! Oh, curse you, opposable thumbs, or lack therein! <laughs> anyway, let's go and see how good it is. The city of Ashen was voted one of the most culturally diverse cities in the world. Ashen was a vibrant, great place to live. Nah, but adequate. this is now. Social problems have overrun the modern world, and also the city of Ashen. Our exactly five on the years rise. ago makes the day all hell broke loose. Day one. DLC. We all knew too well that we were slowly being killed by the multinationals before cool. day one. But knowing is different than realizing or acting. On day one, the 95% decided to push back. The small group that started the call to arms for freedom grew exponentially to millions of backers in just one day. The world as we knew it suddenly came to an end. Unable to take back control, the authorities constructed a high wall topped by razor wire around each district, forcing the inhabitants within to survive on their own behind a containment wall. Police checkpoints stopped anybody going in or out within months. The districts were overrun by biker gangs terrorizing defenseless citizens. Now, these gangs do whatever they want. They take your money, your TV, and your girlfriends. They are bad to the bone. Few dare to resist, <laughs> in that order. especially here in Subtroit, where it's the worst. The government abandoned us. Brought There's worst. only one language Subtroit speaks now, and that's brutal violence. They also read in brutal violence. The choice of writing, brutal violence. Repeats and repeats. Okay, so beginning this episode by just saying this is a terrible game. <laughs> uh, for one, it doesn't really prompt you here that you need to press anything. So it's just like, you know, the, the talking's over. So, you know, it's just repeating itself, doing this little pan along, so, until you press something, and then we get loading. You gain nitrous by performing wheelies. Wheelies produce nitrous. Remember that, kids. Somewhat Kill Bill, maybe-esque loading screen. A lot of loading for something very disappointing. There we go. Cool. Slowly loads in. Adequate. So, been thrown into a, a trial here. Doesn't give you any hint on what you gotta press or what controls are. So there's no real... As annoying as tutorials are, at least a little bit of a button prompt would be nice. Uh, so, let's have a look. Not really much fun to talk about here because there's it possibly just gonna be me complaining about this game. Uh, so it's very PS2 era graphics, and despite it being um, PS4. This is genuinely a game on PS4, not even like a remake or anything like that. So it looks like PS2 and it has that mist to hide the draw rate being rubbish and until I read recently that this is a post-apocalyptic game I didn't really acknowledge it I didn't twig in my head that it was meant to be post-apocalyptic even though it does kind of have a escape from New York kind of vibe seems like I think that they said that they were locking people inside but then if we're meant to be locked away, then why are there people still being 
attacked and mugged unless they've just been locked in, but could be. But yeah, so you can't get off the thing, you can't get off the bike, you can just race around. And the beginning bit is just race around until you hit them. So, here we go. Smashy, smashy. Oh, no, they got me. I'm so close. Oh, it looks so cool and awesome, and everyone would have been impressed. But no, I had to be lame and not good at games. So I'm gonna cry and be sad. Nah, so. I'm, I'm happy to not bother with this game at <laughs> all. I mean, I've played some, you know, don't get me wrong, games and graphics, I don't mind about them. Okay, they are some games with some you know, horrendous graphics, but at least the fun, this one just is, you know, maybe it's because I don't like driving ones. It's not paying attention at all. I forgot I had to hit people. Um, yeah, so maybe, you know, people who like driving games will love this. Uh, the thing is, I bought this under the impression that I, it was going to be re uh, similar to a Sega Mega Drive game called Road Rash, where you'd race around, uh, and it was literally a racing game, there wasn't any storyline to it, it was just, you were on a bike, taking part in a bike race, and that was it, and you could pick up chains and pipes from the side. Yeah. Hard to talk and concentrate on that. So, uh, let's see. Yes, yeah, so it's called Road Rash, and Sega Mega Drive, I think I had a copy of, and it was, it was fun. You just raced around, hit people and everything. And then, I'll let this load. Let's see if it comes up with the wonderful voice actor. Here we go, so the phone, incoming call. Special deliveries to North 5 and North 2. These are text messages. These look like text messages to me, not a call. You got seven minutes. Seven minutes for seven runs? Are you kidding? I'm still recovering from the beating last week, and in this condition, I'm never, ever going to make that. Come on, give me a break. Nah. The clock is ticking. You want to keep your job or what? I've got ten others waiting in line to replace you tomorrow. Hungry to do twice the runs you do. So like lovely. Give me those runs, Sonia. I'll do them for you. I'll even do Give me those runs, season. Sonia. Those idiots from North Five are way too slow to steal my deliveries. Yeah, so um, I'm not going to waste any more time on this. Um, and I'm just going to say, the I, I was going to point out something, but I'm, I'm not going to let it play, because later down the line there is... Uh, it's a bunch of swearing in the game. It's an 18 game, so it's, you know, it's how it earned its 18 rating, I assume, is, you know, the hitting people off bikes and uh, swearing. So, but the swearing's weird because when it gets to these bits, you have people wording it and reading it out, and they say, you know, they'll swear, they'll say a bunch of swear words, but they'll say it, but on the message, it'll be blocked out. There'll just be a bunch of stars. So they're censoring the message, but they're not bothering to, you know, they're not bleeping themselves when they say it. So I don't know what the point of that is. It's like, wouldn't it be easier to just, you know, have it in there, just have the word there? If it's going to be said, just have the word. It's, you know, it's not going to make any difference and certainly didn't magically make the rating go down, so it's, meh. Anyway, um, I don't know. I don't think I'll bother wasting much more time on this, it's just kind of... Um, but... Yeah, it's... You know, don't buy... from me. I suppose I've got to give it a rating of some sort, it's very low, it's, it's, it's a one bleep from me. Um, let's say in the intro you saw Reggie desperately wanting to get away from this, and I, I don't blame him. 
Alright, so yeah. I'm not really gonna bother with anything. It's just it's all the same stuff over and over. I think it boasts over 90 missions or something. And what oh, can do a wheelie? I'm gonna try and do a wheelie. Oops, nope. Hey, I knocked over a car. Ah, oh, it's fun. Ah, uh, lovely. Lovely. So yeah, do not buy Wombly, I suppose. Oh, that was the nitrous. That was terrible. Yeah. So yeah, do not buy Wombly. Uh, okay. Uh. Sorry about that one. Um, if you promise to come back, we'll uh, have a better game next time, I swear.